Hi everyone, welcome to another Thursday night card making class live with Alisa Tilsner. Oops, I haven't even got me on. There we go. How are you all? Um, we are going to be, excuse me, I'm in a bit of a mess today. I'm, I'm, I'm having one of those beat up days. I've got burns, I've got my hands are all starting to blister from CrossFit and I'm just in one of those moods. So excuse my appearance tonight please so but tonight we are going to be casing the celebration catalog again the cover of it this time it's the peacock one um, the peacock one is in blues but we are going to be using it in pinks and purples using one of the other uh, designer series paper but as we're welcoming everyone in hello if you're coming in just a reminder that I can see um, comments but I can't see who's actually commenting so but I can see your comments so just a couple of things to run through first I am super 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 excited to be announcing um, this I advertised it last night it is my monthly card making kits subscription so it's ten dollars a month and you will get two cards um, enough enough like content to uh, create your two cards and then we will get together once a month probably mid-month while everybody's kits have been posted to them and we will make our cards together live so you can follow exactly as I have I, I will be advertising what um, supplies you'll need to create your cards like stamp set and and colors of inks and that type of thing but you know if you uh, don't have the particular stamp set that I have you can feel free to alternate like, substitute I'll try that word instead you can substitute it for something else that you already have so all the details for the monthly card making kits are on my blog so you can go and check them out excuse me subscription is a, um, a rolling intake so you can join at any time and um, and leave at any time that you wish as well so go and check that out um, the second thing is is that the celebration is coming to an end very soon so if you are still wanting to join you do have time so $169 will get you $235 worth of product plus an extra two stamp sets so you can choose the most expensive ones and that could be an extra $174 worth of value in your kit so in my team we have um, business builders we have hobby demonstrators excuse me and we also have our happy shoppers so um, if you're interested in any of those tiers then let me know and we can have a chat so and finally is our March code so if you are ordering this month make sure that you use the code online and um, and you'll be sent a nice little gift from me at the end of the month so now I have got a, a, a new little microphone here so I'm hoping that the sound is obviously good obviously because nobody said I can't hear, hear you but I'm hoping it doesn't have that tinny sound and I'm hoping it's not picking up too much of my breathing or my pups and my bits and all that sort of stuff so so let's swing the camera around and get started and I'll show you what we're making so okay so we're going to be casing this one here and I'll just bring that up a little bit closer so it's a little bit crazy um, we did them at Lincoln Learn the other day and Chris lovingly brought in her scan and cut um, so we cut them out this way but I've um, being the model that she had we could only cut these out in black so and today like an hour ago I thought oh you know what I think I might change it and I think I might do some color so my fingers a little bit indented too because I've had my craft knife going so it's a little bit crazy so um, so that's what we're going to do so we are going to be not doing it in blues but I'm going to be doing it in pinks so this one is melon mambo and my card size I make my card sizes different oh excellent I'm glad that the microphone is working really well Kerry um, so my card sizes are different if you've been watching me for a while you know this I sort of I've taken a little bit off the end so the uh, size works out to be 10 and a half centimeters by 13 so I think it just makes it a little bit more square so I don't have to try and fill up that little bit of extra space so rather than having a, a, a rectangle so we're going to have a melon mumbo base and we're going to be using actually a little piece of this 
gorgeous paper. If you haven't seen it already, it's the Painted With Love specialty paper. And I've already chopped up a couple of sheets that we used at Lincoln Learn the other day. So these are the little bits of leftovers that I had. But just check this one out here. This is just stunning. I love this piece. Have a look at that. I can't even fit it in the whole screen. That is beautiful. So the colours for this are Rich Razzleberry, Melon Mambo, um, Powder Pink and Gold. Did I miss any out? Oh, and Calypso Coral. Oh, I didn't, didn't pick that one up. So Melon Mambo Base and then I've got a layer of um, Powder Pink. Have I cut that the right size? I should have checked first, haven't I? Um, because you know what? If somebody can tell me where that blue comes from, um, I would be really grateful. The spotty, well, I can't point to it, this one here, the spotty one. If anybody can tell me what pack that comes from, I would be very grateful because I can't find it. <laughs> so, I am just going to start off by sponging my uh, powder pink around the edges. I sort of, I used to sponge nearly everything, but then I decided um, I took a break from sponging, but now I've gone back to sponging again. So, quick sponge. Okay, quick sponge. Okay, now um, I'm going to put that aside because we are going to, and I haven't played with this one yet, and I'm going to use this one here and some shimmer paste. I haven't played with the shimmer paste before. So, well, I have, yeah, I've played with the other one, but not the shimmer one. So, and I'm going to, I haven't got a wet cloth near me. So shimmer paste, let's have a look at this. I cracked it open ever so slightly before. Wow, check that out. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so I'm going to use my little spatula from the palette knives. Now I haven't, I was a little bit foolish. I was running a bit late and I haven't set myself up properly because this actually needs to be dried. Like you need to wash your thingies off very quickly. So I might just grab my stamp and mist and my thingy there, my rag. Let's let's just see if we can work it out. I'm sure I can. If not, I will call one of my children. Okay, so we just want to scoop up a small amount, and believe me, you'll only need a small amount. And we're just going to smear that across. So when they've gone down in an angle, we just want to smear it on. I don't think it really matters too much. I've probably pro probably put a little bit more on there than necessary. I'm just going to scrape that back in there. Put my lid on because I don't want it dried. You want to play, I'm, I'm assuming the, the comment that says next week, I'm assuming that that is from Chris who wants to play with shimmer paste next week. Have a look at that. Pretty. Now, this dries really quickly. Have a look. That is really nice. This dries really, really quickly. So wipe it quick, like clean it off quickly with some water. But because I'm not organized, I'm just going to spray it with my Stampin' Mist and give that a wipe. And you know what? I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll clean. Yeah, look at that. You just don't want it to dry on there because then you're going to have trouble getting it off. Okay, and give that a wipe off too. Oh, look at that. It's getting stuck on there already. So, excuse me, two seconds. Give that a wash. That is really pretty. Okay, now you are all going to think I'm mad, but guess what I did? You know how on the, um, the cover of the catalogue, all those little bits are really, really fussy cut. I did it. I cut them. So we're going to have that. Well, now that's only going to take a, a very short time to uh, dry. But I also have a piece of um, 
Oh, look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? Oh, can't find my camera. Where is my camera? There we go. So pretty. So that is going to lay across the top. And then we have a scallop of vellum, which I've already done. I don't, want to, I don't want to put it on there too heavy, so I'm just going to pop it down there. And then what I've done is I've stamped out, we're using, we're using this one here, the beautiful peacock. So if you haven't got this one yet, we still have a couple of weeks to grab it. And this one's a photopolymer one as well. So I was going to start off with, um, now I'm probably not going to be able to find him. I had one already prepared. And he was in, like I had done him in pink and then moving into purple. And he will be on my desk here somewhere. But, up oh, there he is. I found him. So, this is the first one that I did. Oh, can't find my camera anymore. It's in a different spot to where it used to be. Excuse all of them. Look at that. Nice calluses. Getting all these nasty stuff. So doesn't make for really pretty hands when you do tutorials, does it? So that's what we did first. So I stamped, uh, inked the top part up in Melon Mambo and the bottom part up in Rich Razzleberry. And then before you stamp your image, you, um, sp like with a sponge dauber, with a sponge dauber on your stamp, your actual stamp, you just sort of blend the two colours together and then you stamp it and you end up with that really nice, um, like, almost like an ombre effect um so i was going to do him but i thought let's be a little bit lavish considering i'm changing the whole card from what we made at lincoln Lynn the other day and i have gold embossed him so i think he looks pretty cool oh why have you curled up all of a sudden so that's going to go down there and then these ones here these are the ones that i have stamped and cut out and left a nice indent on my finger. So we have of these um, three purples. Okay, they're not the best, so don't go looking too closely. I'll tell you what, it was easier with a craft knife than what, what it was with a pair of scissors. So and I, I don't know that I improved. The pink ones I did with a pair of scissors and uh, the purple ones I did with my craft knife, but I tell you what, I really don't think I improved as I went along. So, so you, but you'll need five of them, okay? And I am never doing it again. <laughs> and I have a feeling that that one's probably gonna break, so remind me to go carefully with that one. Okay, so now it's just assembling, and I think that that is dry. Yep, that's dry already. So pretty. Now, So I'm just going to, whoop, it's my phone ringing, I think my kids can answer that, they probably won't, whoop, yep, there they go, okay, so just going to adhere that down, I probably should have trimmed that a little bit better, but anyway, it's not quite, so there we have that piece, and then we're going to pop our gorgeous and I'm not going to, I would tend to normally put them up higher, but because he's got so much of those tail feathers going on, we actually need to put it a little bit lower. Okay, is my youngest going to sneak in for the phone? No, nope. it's probably just one of those election calls anyway. So we want to pop this one down a little bit lower than what we normally would be inclined. So something like that and then we want a strip of oh I keep getting that caught we just want to pop a tiny little bit on there for our vellum okay now they've done this real funky thing with the um, with the what is this sequins and um, Oh, it was it was way hard to cut out. I tell you, it, I think it took me an hour just to cut out those five. It's ridiculous. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, I know what I'm looking for. Now they've got something going on. If you look at your catalog cover, they've got um, some of this sequins trim just sort of wrapped around, and I couldn't quite see exactly what they had done with it. But I've discovered that the glue dots are probably the best way to attach them if they don't attach to you and they've sort of stuck it 
underneath to start with, I think, and then they've just sort of looped it around any which way by the looks of it and just sort of had it sort of something like that, I think. If you guys have a look at the, the catalogue, tell me what you think. I think that's what they've done. And another glue dot. So I'm just going to pop that. And hopefully it'll stick there nicely. So, whoop! <laughs> that didn't happen to me the first time. I think I need another glue dot. Trust. Okay, um, here I'll stick one here. Oops, there we go. Oh, by crikey, how come I didn't have this much trouble the first time around? Alright, last one. Stick. I suppose I should have stuck it at the top to begin with, it would have made sense, wouldn't it? Okay. Something like that. I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> okay, I shall put that aside. Next, what we want to do is get our my glue is get these for little things. So we sort of I'm going to stick them here, and then I'm going to put my um, the body of the peacock over the top. So I'm going to be very very gentle with these things because. I know that one of them will end up tearing. So, and I want to bring it right round so that it almost like fans all the way around him. Okay, where's that one that I busted? That one. This one's the dodgy one. I think I almost cut it through. So, I'm just using a, a glue pen for this. Okay. So if you have a go at these, you'll only be making one because I can guarantee. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes it's nice to, to sit and do something. I tell you what though, whoever, whoever made this card at Stampin' Up must have very steady hands, either that or they've used a machine as well because um, it's, it was, oh, it, you know, it wasn't hard, hard, but it just took a little while. Go slow. Okay, so this one's going to come down and then the last one. See, and I didn't bust any. I didn't break any. I'm going to have that one come right down. And you can see they sort of like all lift up and do pretty things. Okay, now. I have got everything, that, but it's all a little bit far away from me. I've got so much stuff. My desk is clean, I, and look, I'm still clean behind. Oh, you can't see behind me. I can see behind me on my other camera, but you guys can't see. But my my desk, my back of my, my room is still clean. I'm so super proud. But because I've got all this camera stuff going on, I've got stuff everywhere on my desk. Stands and lights and my microphone cord and all sorts of stuff going on. Okay, so there's my cool gold um, peacock. Oh, look at them. I don't know. I don't know about that sequins trim, but I think that's probably, I don't know. Maybe I can try and, do you think I can, do I dare? I don't know. And then finally, on a piece of um, uh, rich razzleberry, it, I've stamped the Today is All About You. So I'm also going to pop some dimensionals on that. So you can see that once you have, um, you know, spent an hour cutting out those 
things, you uh, the card isn't very hard to assemble. <laughs> Not very hard at all. Okay, where have they popped that? Just here. There we go. There. Done. Oh, I keep forgetting my burn on my arm and I keep landing on it. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure about that stuff going on. I don't know what they did on the... It looks good on the catalogue, but it doesn't look so good on my card now, does it? Um, there we go. So there we have it. There's our card for today. You know what? I think I really like that shimmery um, paste, though. I'm going to have to have a bit more of a play with that, see what else I can come up with, because that's really pretty. Oops, my colour keeps changing when I bring it up to the camera. But that's pretty. It sort of looks like a bit of a mess, <laughs> really, doesn't it? <laughs> oh well, you know, you know, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> oh, we'll swing it back. I um, I will. Swing back to me in my messy state. But this is the one we made at Link and Learn um, that we cut out with uh, when I can get it. Um, that's that's the oh now see that's all made funny things now too. Anyway, oops, so you can't even see it. I'm looking at I've got two cameras that I can view, and um, I'm look you're looking at me and I'm looking at my <laughs> that's the other one that we made. With the black so that one was cut out with the with the machine didn't have to cut any of that one yeah i don't know it's nice to cut to case um a hard one every now and then not all the time i probably wouldn't do them all the time sometimes they're sometimes they're a lot easier than than others to um to create but anyway i've got some very fancy cards to uh, give away to somebody now anyway <laughs> so they might look at them and go oh what's uh, happened here in my in my envelope hmm. cool well thank you very much it may not have been the uh, the best but um, we will see you again next week I might have a bit more of a play with that shimmer paste we might try and put some color or something in it and make it really really pretty um, but thank you very much for watching and uh, next week's a normal week, isn't it? And then the week after that, I think we're getting close to... Um, oh, I know. I'm sorry about all the, the talk about fussy cutting. It was... Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I did it with a craft knife. It wasn't too bad. Um, the background on the catalogue card... Is it a stamped image, is it? I'm not... No, it's dots. It's like a light blue with darker blue dots on it. So I don't know where it's from, but um, anyway. Anyway, we shall see you again next week. Thank you so much for joining me and um, take care. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to figure out how to stop. See ya. <laughs>